their chief meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Hey, good evening, Mike and Cherie. Yeah, the weekend's off to a nice start so far. Unfortunately, we've got some big time changes coming our way, so at least we're going to stay mild through the night tonight. We've got showers rolling in it for your Saturday, and then it looks like it will likely end as a little bit of a wintry mix on Sunday. Boy, this map really sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? With all the red on it from Cleveland down here to Cincinnati, all the way into the southern parts of Kentucky tonight. Temperatures are running 15 to, in some cases, in excess of 20 degrees warmer. So it is an unseasonably mild February night. Check this out. Temperatures are in the mid 40s. We're still at 46 at the airport. That's actually warmer than it should be in the middle of the day this time of the year. So enjoy the mild weather because it's going to start to change heading into your weekend. All right, radar tonight is relatively quiet. I mentioned at the top of the show some of these little green specks that you're seeing up here around Middletown to the north of Lebanon. That's just simply cloud cover. Most of us will enjoy a rain free night around here. Those clouds are acting like a blanket though and with a little bit of a south breeze is actually helping to keep temperatures up across most of the area. Most of us are generally hovering around 40. A few of the cooler locations, some of the river valleys, more protected areas like out there around Hooven and Harrison, for example, you've managed to slip back into the middle and upper 30s. But everyone else, Sharonville, Loveland, Kenwood, College Hill, Del High, Fort Wright, Cold Spring, all in the mid 40s here, and it's going to stay unseasonably mild through the night. In fact, most of us won't fall out of the 40s for lows overnight tonight. So enjoy the mild weather and then highs tomorrow are going to be in the 40s, but they're virtually going to really be whatever we are at midnight, you know, in about 40 minutes from now because temperatures tomorrow will actually hold pretty steady. That big winter storm bypassed us to our north. However, some of that colder air is gradually sleeping its way down towards the Ohio Valley, and that's going to complicate the forecast some. So when you start your Saturday, it will be gloomy to start out. Showers will move in here between 8 and 9 o'clock. I expect widespread showers through out the day to continue off and on. We may see them decrease some Saturday night, but at the same time, colder air is going to be sneaking its way in. Now I'm not looking at an ice storm or even anything close to that, but there's the potential there as we get into Sunday with some colder air in place and showers continuing that I probably won't rule out some sleet, a little bit of freezing rain, especially Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening that could end as a few wet snowflakes. Again, doesn't look like a big deal. We'll keep a close eye on it, but it will turn significantly colder by the tail end of our weekend. So enjoy the rest of tonight and tomorrow morning 41 for an overnight low underneath mostly cloudy skies. Showers arrive tomorrow with temperatures either steady or slowly falling 44 for your high. And you see what I mean here again, not heavy rain, but kind of on and off nuisance showers with those temperatures in the 40s. Here's your seven day forecast. There's the reason for the wintry mix on Sunday and then Mike and Sheree next week expect on and off rain with kind of a spring like pattern and milder temperatures. Look at that. Lots of 50s towards the middle of the week and lots of rain throughout the whole week. <laughs> All right, thank you.